Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Urbana University's 129th commencement ceremony. My name is Christopher Washington. I serve as the Executive Vice President and CEO of Urbana University, a branch campus of Franklin University. It is my great pleasure to be with you today and to have the opportunity to celebrate the achievements of our, all of our graduates who have earned their degree from Urbana University. Graduates, these are indeed extraordinary times. Nearly everyone on the planet is faced with decisions to adapt themselves to a new world as a result of a global pandemic. We are experiencing our commencement in an unusual way, imposed on us by a virus we cannot see, but is nevertheless inflicting and disrupting our entire world. In these extraordinary times, I'm moved to think about the immortal words of Thomas Paine, who once said, these are the times that try men's souls. Since we believe in celebrating significant achievements here at Urbana, unique challenges call for unique solutions. So instead of pomp and circumstance, we are experiencing pomp during unusual circumstances. In accordance with Ohio social distancing protocols, an in-person gathering for our spring 2020 commencement wasn't possible. And so, today we are unable to meet together in the Grimes Center, to shake one another's hands, to drink from the same celebratory punch bowl, to take group pictures with our best friends and their families, and with our faculty and staff members, or to smell and touch the excitement of this day in the blue night way. In making adaptations to these unusual times, our team has done its very best to celebrate your milestone through a virtual graduation ceremony in hope that you can enjoy your achievements with your loved ones who helped you along the way. In my mind, this class is a very special class, the class of 2020. This class will be the last to graduate from Urbana University. Urbana's 170 year history will live on through the relationships that you've built with each other and through the impact that each of you will make on the world. This graduating class during these extraordinary times had to be extraordinary. The Urbana University class of 2020 had to overcome loss of opportunities and social stability, experience disruption to their expectations and to the methods of learning, and adapt to great uncertainty about the future. No group of young adults in modern history has graduated into a new reality so characterized by unknowns as the class of 2020. As a testimony to your exceptionalism, not everyone who started with this class is finishing with this class. There are far too many reasons why this is the case. But what I can say with certainty is that graduating college at this time is not easy and members of this class have proven that they have the self-discipline, determination, and resilience to succeed in the classroom, in the community, and in their future careers. Students graduating in this class will definitely face some unique challenges. As of this morning, there were 40 million Americans, for example, who filed for unemployment in just 10 weeks. Unfortunately for some, we all face a world that is quite different than what we expected just three months ago. We live under a dark shadow of a glo global pandemic, a world where many companies have gone out of business, and yet many new organizations and roles have emerged. Where it continues to be difficult to travel in and out of most countries, and yet hundreds of millions of people have learned to connect and communicate with others around the world through Zoom and other social platforms. While stay-at-home orders are still in effect in many parts of the world, there's still yet people working from home and making a living, which has become normalized and quite profitable for many. While uncertainty fills the air, new opportunities are there for those who pursue them. Your path forward certainly won't be easy. However, I am confident that you all have what it takes to thrive in uncertain times. 
Why am I so confident? Well, over the past three years, I've had the opportunity to get to know so many members of this graduating class. I've watched you in action up close and from a distance, in the classroom, online, on our courts and on our athletic fields, and in service to the community. The graduates I know are confident and creative, have the ability to adapt. They seek out and support one another and provide support to others. They balance more than one aspect of life and they're driven to learn. When I think of confidence, for example, the kind that can overcome any challenges, I think of people like Jesse Bray catching a one-hand touchdown pass, or Kobe Bryant taking an ESPN interview, or Grace Fonseca, Taylor Levan, and Weston Minich having the courage to face young kids in a classroom. I think of Sarah Pond flying high above the cheerleaders pyramid. When I think of individuals who pursue new adventures, I think of people like Michael Tolliver, who took an internships with Creek Technologies, which later became a job offer. I think of Xu Ting Wang and Yu Chang Zong coming all the way to the US from China to study business with Americans in a different language and working hard enough to earn summa cum laude. When I think of those who work hard to adapt to their circumstances, who look at the positives and resist getting discouraged, I think of people like Mike Ryan, Christopher Richardson Jr., and Mickey Holtz. When I think of those who provide support to others, I think of Savannah Cahoon, DeRay Hall, Thomas Olivas, Jasminko Dravdarevic, and Brittany Cook. When I think of those students who balance more than one aspect of their lives, I think of all the medical doctors who just received their MBA healthcare degrees in the Caribbean, and all of our student athletes, education majors, doing their classroom teaching. When I think of those who grow beyond their comfort zone, it's not hard for me to think of all the students who came from China to study here at Urbana. I'll also never forget that Eddie Stockett stopped in traffic to rescue an infant from a tragic car accident. And who can ever forget the leadership of Natalie Perez, Audrey Pumford, and Kristen Abbott? Each was a significant contributor to our very special campus culture through their leadership. Yes, indeed, there will be many new opportunities awaiting this graduating class, and I know they're prepared for it. You see, opportunities arise when the old is gone and the new is not quite comfortable or defined. Each of you are best positioned to capitalize on the opportunities that the new normal will likely present you. If, if you apply what you've learned, remain open to new opportunities, and continue to take the attitude that you can grow through what you go through. I challenge you to look on these times as presenting the gift of opportunity, a gift that uniquely allows you to make your mark while others are looking for direction. Use your passion, make your difference. No matter how big or how seemingly small, you have the opportunity to shape what your tomorrow looks like. Graduates, we are so very proud of you and your accomplishment. You've all earned it. You all deserve it. Now, as is, has been our tradition here at Urbana University, I want to remind us all that our success is enabled by the support of others. I'd like to ask those in the company of our graduates to please rise. This includes the grandparents and parents of our graduates, the spouses and significant others of our graduates, the children and grandchildren, the sisters, brothers, and other family members of our graduates, the employers and the friends of our graduates. Would you all please rise? Now graduates, I'd like for you to applaud those who helped you and supported you in your journey. Now if I had my way, I would put everyone's name on the diploma, but I will leave that up to the graduates. At this time, I'd like for us to pause for the singing of the Star Spangled Banner by Dr. Brenda Jones. Oh, say, can you see by the dawn 
sun's early light. What so proudly we hail at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight over the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still fair oh say does that star-spangled I would like to call upon the Reverend Elizabeth Kaufman, Chaplain Minister, Urbana Swedenborgian Church, for the invocation. Welcome. I'm Reverend Betsy Kaufman, the Chaplain of Urbana University, and also a graduate. I ask right now that you quiet yourself as I offer the opening invocation for our graduation ceremony. O oh, loving and wise creator, God of all seasons, we know that there is a time for every season and purpose under heaven. And today we celebrate this season in which we honor our final class of graduates from Urbana University. We are filled with pride at their success and accomplishment in the face of unexpected challenge and adversity. And even on this final graduation day, as we mourn the loss of their alma mater, we send them forth with blessings and prayers for their ongoing growth and for the realization of their future hopes and dreams. As we give thanks for all those who supported guided and assisted them in the fulfillment of their achievement today, family, friends, university, faculty, and staff, we also give honor and remembrance to all who came before them, whose loyalty, caring, and commitment guided the many generations of graduates who have since gone out into the world and made a difference. May they all be blessed. As our graduates say goodbye to the past and enter this new phase of their lives, we ask, O oh God, that their labors bear fruit, not just for themselves, but in the sharing and giving to their communities and to the wider world in selfless service, recognizing that each of us has a part to play in the realization of your greater purpose for humankind. In your holy name we pray, amen. Dr. Cyan Proctor is the world's most famous analog astronaut. She is an African-American explorer, scientist, STEM communicator, and aspiring astronaut. She is a geology, sustainability, and planetary science professor at South Mountain College Community College. Proctor was the education outreach officer for the first Hawaii Space Exploration Analog and Simulation, or what we call High Seas Mission. High Seas is a NASA-funded analog habitat for human spaceflight to Mars. She has also appeared in three educational TV shows. She was on The Colony, season two, which was aired on the Discovery Channel. She also appeared in the 2016 PBS series, Genius, by Stephen Hawking. She's in episode two, Are We Alone? and is currently featured on the science show, Strange Evidence. Like many of you, Dr. Cyan Proctor was an athlete at a Division II school. But what makes her story as relatable as it is to you 
particularly today, is that she has navigated major changes in her life, pursued big goals, and reinvented herself in the process. Dr. Proctor's life proves that how we face unexpected twists and turns both build and reveal our character. Dr. Proctor embodies the qualities necessary not only to find success and reward, but to live a life of fulfillment and joy. Welcome, Dr. Proctor. Hello, everyone. I am thrilled to be here virtually connecting with you, the Urbana University graduating class of 2020. I first want to say a thank you to all the faculty, staff, administration, family, and friends who have supported you and all that you have accomplished to get to this point, particularly over these last few months during this time of incredible uncertainty. The word celebrate invokes thoughts of happiness, joy, and excitement. And it can be hard to think about celebrating during a time of civil unrest, economic hardship, and a worldwide pandemic. We come together today in order to claim what you have worked so hard to achieve. It was Nelson Mandela who said, I have discovered the secret that after climbing a great hill, one only finds that there are many more hills to climb. I have taken a moment here to rest, to steal a view of the glorious vista that surrounds me, to look back on the distance I have come, but I can only rest for a moment. For with freedom comes responsibilities, and I dare not linger, for my long walk is not ended. To the Urbana University 2020 graduating class, congratulations. You've worked hard and have climbed the summit. Take a moment to reflect on how far you have come. Think about the first time you stepped on campus, the first person you became friends with, the very first class you ever attended, your very first NCAA Division II athletic competition, and even your very first party. Years of activities, actions, excitement, sadness, frustrations, laughter, and love, those transactions and memories have helped to shape the current you. Before you take flight into the next phase of your life, relax and take a moment to just breathe and acknowledge all that you have achieved. Let the worries of the past and the expectations of the future wash away from you for just a moment. Smile and tell yourself, I did it. Nobody can take this away from you. You did it. Nelson Mandela also said, remember to celebrate milestones as you prepare for the road ahead. I believe it is when we feel the most uncertainty and the least amount of hope, that is when we need to dig deep from within in order to spread our wings and propel ourselves forward. We celebrate now so that you can take that leap forward even if the skies ahead aren't as clear as we had hoped they'd be. When I graduated from undergrad, my father had already passed away at the end of my freshman year. I also didn't have a job lined up, and honestly, I had no idea what I wanted to do with my life. So I moved back home, and I ended up getting a job as a video editor at a local news channel. It had nothing to do with my degree, and at the time, well, I felt like my wings had been clipped and I had been grounded. That somehow moving back home equaled not being successful. It wasn't until years later that I realized that that wasn't the case. In fact, it was the complete opposite. Landing home was exactly the flight path I needed to take in order to gain the skills, friendships, connections, and perspective that I needed to propel myself forward. If you would have told me at my undergraduate graduation that I would one day be a finalist for the NASA astronaut selection process, have traveled to all 50 states and over 50 countries around the world, got my pilot's license, would be on multiple TV shows, give keynote speeches all over the country, and I'd become Dr. Proctor in the process, I would have laughed because all I could see in front of me at that moment was the fact that I didn't have a job and I was going home to live with my mom. I am humbled by the fact that I get to sit here in my home 
in my home office <laughs> during this pandemic and share with you my advice on getting flight ready and launching yourself forward into the unknown. We spend a lot of time and energy chasing a career, solving a problem, or trying to materialize what we perceive to be our ideal life. I have spent a good amount of my life wishing I had a superpower, not like superwoman or anything like that, but some talent or gift that would make it all come easy. When I look around at my friends, family members, colleagues, and other athletes, it always felt like success came natural to everyone else, and I was the only one who had to work extra hard to get by. And for every one step I would take forward, it was always two steps back. But what I learned when I talked to those friends, colleagues, family members, and other athletes is that they would say to me, you're so lucky. It all comes so easy to you. And I'd be like, really? I thought, wow, they feel exactly the same way I do. And what I learned from this is that I'm not alone. Everyone was working hard, but I couldn't see it. I only saw their success and reward versus my hard work and very little success. How we portray ourselves, how we see ourselves, and how others see us hardly ever align. It's hard to see the strides you've made, the distances you've crossed, and the successes you've achieved when you're in the thick of living it. I want to share with you the two biggest secrets that I have learned since being where you are now, graduating from undergrad. The first is understanding the power of connections. It's only with the ability to look back at my career that I can now see how everything, and I mean every single thing that I've been able to do and achieve in my life was because of the connections I had made with others. You see, connections are really how things work in this world. How we interact with those around us actually matters. For example, I got my first TV show because someone I went to school with recommended me for the show. It was years after we had graduated and I'd lost connection with that person. We weren't even that close in school, yet they still recommended me. So I want you to think about this. How do you become the person that people think about or reach out to when opportunities arise? If you take the time to connect with people who come into your life in meaningful, thoughtful ways, then the opportunities will be endless. The second secret I want to share with you is that I finally found my superpower. I call it space to inspire. And what's great about this superpower is that we all have it. When I say space to inspire, most people think of outer space because I've been chasing the quest to leave Earth's orbit for a long, long time. But what I discovered during my quest is that the most amazing space isn't actually outer space. It's this space right here, one arm's length from me. It is the most amazing transformative space imaginable because it's all about me and the individual things that I do and the choices I make. Oprah Winfrey said, if you really want to fly, just harness your power to your passion. Honor your calling. Everybody has one. Trust your heart and success will come to you. You see, there will never, ever be anyone exactly like you ever again. Your unique talents and strengths, the way you think, move, act, feel, love, respond to the world around you is unique to only you and will never be repeated. Figuring out how you can use your unique, one-of-a-kind space to inspire yourself and those within your reach is a superpower. And how you use this superpower each and every single day to transform not only yourself, but the world around you is something worth celebrating. Your graduation is really a green light for you to unleash this power to transform your life and the world around you. I hope you will take that power and use it to make a difference, to strive for equity, promote diversity, be inclusive, and take the time to connect with those who are least like you so we collectively can create a world where humanity 
cares equally about everyone. As you blast off into the uncertainty before you, keep in mind that you bring with you this superpower. The interactions you have, the words you use, the time you spend online or in person with others matters. You are an agent of change and you carry your very own amazing, unique, one-of-a-kind space that you can use to make a positive difference in this world. You're already doing it. And that's why we're here celebrating today. It's time for you to recognize it, own it, and use it to your full advantage every single day. Congratulations, Urbana University graduating class of 2020. You are cleared for launch. Good luck. Friends, at this time, it is my distinct honor to acknowledge Dr. Proctor's work as a science, technology, engineering, arts and math educator who provides broad access to knowledge about living, working, and playing in space. Today, I have the privilege of awarding Dr. Cyan Proctor our Distinguished Innovator in Education Award. Congratulations, Dr. Proctor. Now, it is time for us to turn our attention to you, the graduates. Presenting the candidates for master's degrees, Executive Vice President Washington, I present 30 candidates for the degree Master of Business Administration, one candidate for the degree Master of Education in Classroom Teaching. I certify that these candidates have duly completed the course of study prescribed by the university and are recommended by the faculty for the appropriate degree. Thank you, Dr. Evans Wilson. Members of the class of spring 2020, upon recommendation of the faculty and upon approval of the Board of Trustees, and therefore by virtue of the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees of Franklin University and the Urbana Branch Campus, I hereby confer upon you the degree of Master of Business Administration and Master of Education in Classroom Teaching, whichever applies together with all rights, privileges, honors, and responsibilities pertaining thereto, and in witness thereof, I award you the diploma of Urbana University, a branch campus of Franklin University. Candidates for degrees of Master of Business Administration, Frederick Aquish, Olafunk Abadai, Neil Amlin, Leslie Olivia Anderson. Kasari Arjun. Rhonda Bachman. Mary Bengara. Alice Berkrinsky. Delashron Hunter. Aish Javid, Magana Kamenini, Denise Keaton, Rosemary Chuda Obai, Frederick Parks, Gina Johanna Parsons, Neil Bippin Patel, Neha Bippen Patel. Sean Michael Poole. Karandeep Prehar. Karama Lashawn Prescott. Kelland Reagan. Nana Sofeth. Allah Salim. Raja Mason Sharp. Jaron Shelton. Nazinga Tafari. Jessica Lauren Watterson. Dylan Williams. 
Chukbinka Johnson Uzor, Salim Zagdal. Candidate for degree in Master of Education, Julianne Connor Howe. Hi, my name is Sarah Pond and I am graduating today with my Bachelor of Science degree in Early Childhood Education. My future plans are to become an elementary school teacher. I have so many fond memories from UU over these last four years that I have been a student that I couldn't pick just one. Some of my favorite memories are going to sporting events with my friends, hanging out in McConnell's lobby, doing homework late at night with my friends in the student center and the library, and cheering on the sidelines for football and basketball games. Go Blue Knights! Hello, my name is Ashley Miller. When asked to reminisce about my time at Urbana, I think about when I was 16. I first visited the campus and I knew that the school was going to be the place for me. When I left at 21, I realized Urbana had become a second home. Congratulations 2020, we made it. Presenting the candidates from the College of Arts, Science and Technology, Executive Vice President Washington, I present four candidates for the degree Bachelor of Arts, 10 candidates for the degree Bachelor of Science. I certify that these candidates have duly completed the course of study prescribed by the university and are recommended by the faculty for the appropriate degree. Thank you, Dr. Evans Wilson. Members of the class of spring 2020, upon recommendation of the faculty and upon approval of the Board of Trustees, and therefore by virtue of the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees of Franklin University and the Urbana Branch Campus, I hereby confer upon you the degree of Bachelor of Arts, Bachelor of Science, whichever applies together with all rights, privileges, honors, and responsibilities pertaining thereto and in witness thereof, I award you the diploma of Urbana University, a branch campus of Franklin University. Candidates for the degree, undergraduate degree in the College of Arts and Sciences and Technology. Joseph Brown. Jesse Bray II. Brittany Nicole Cook, summa cum laude. Melissa Cushman, magna cum laude. Cassandra Kraft. Haley Marie Sparks. Jacob Wishmeyer, summa cum laude. Eric Matthew Alexander. Kobe Bryant, summa cum laude. Robert Peter Guerrero III. Jordan Littles, cum laude. Aaron Rochelle Lynch, summa cum laude. Ashlyn Heather Miller, summa cum laude. Audrey Pumford, magna cum laude. Presenting the candidates from the College of Business, Executive Vice President Washington, I present 20 candidates for the degree Bachelor of Science and one candidate for the degree Associate of Arts. 
I certify that these candidates have duly completed the course of study prescribed by the university and are recommended by the faculty for the appropriate degree. Thank you, Dr. Evans Wilson. Members of the class of spring 2020, upon recommendation of the faculty and upon approval of the Board of Trustees, and therefore, by virtue of the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees of Franklin University and the Urbana Branch Campus, I hereby confer upon you the degree of Bachelor of Science or Associate of Arts, whichever applies together with all rights, privileges, honors, and responsibilities pertaining thereto, and in witness thereof, I award you the diploma of Urbana University, a branch campus of Franklin University. For the College of Business, Kyle Patrick Glazer, cum laude. Zachary Pettigrew, magna cum laude. Matthew Ernest Ashley. Zingche Kai. We die. Jasminko Derzanovic, magna cum laude. Wenho Fi, magna cum laude. Yu Fi, magna cum laude. Christopher Miles Hawkins. Wing Jen Mao. Tomas Olivas. Natalie Marie Perez, magna cum laude. Li Zing Kai. Emily Skirtsbit, cum laude. Edward Dale Stockett III. Michael Tolliver, magna cum laude. Alfonso Vieira, cum laude. Shatung Wang, summa cum laude. Eric Ware. Fancho Zhu. Yuchung Zong, summa cum laude. Samuel J. Hamilton. Karen Elaine Engel. Catherine M. Shoemaker, cum laude. Stephen Neal Bailey. Jamari Marcel Collins. Presenting the candidates from the School of Education, Executive Vice President Washington, I present 15 candidates for the degree Bachelor of Science. I certify that these candidates have duly completed the course of study prescribed by the university and are recommended by the faculty for the appropriate degree. Once again, I thank you, Dr. Evans Wilson. Members of the class of spring 2020, upon recommendation of the faculty and upon approval of the Board of Trustees, and therefore, by virtue of the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees of Franklin University and the Urbana Branch Campus, I hereby confer upon you the degree of Bachelor of Science, together with all the rights, privileges, honors, and responsibilities pertaining thereto, and in witness thereof, I award you the diploma of Urbana University, a branch campus of Franklin University. Our graduates from the College of Education, Storm Elaine Hayes, magna cum laude. Spencer Stewart, cum laude. Jada Lucretia Love. Candace Marie Sumlin. Allison Elizabeth Watkins. Valerie Branham. Grace Elizabeth Fonseca, summa cum laude. Weston Minnick, cum laude. Sarah Ann Pond, summa cum laude. Megan Renee Rutledge, magna cum laude. Taylor Nicole Levan, cum laude. 
Alyssa Ray Myers, magna cum laude. Savannah Cahoon. Macy M. Gibson, summa cum laude. Ashley Hummer, summa cum laude. Presenting the candidates from the College of Health and Public Administration, Vice President Washington, I present. 20 candidates for the degree Bachelor of Science. I certify that these candidates have duly completed the course of study prescribed by the university and are recommended by the faculty for the appropriate degree. Thank you, Dr. Evans Wilson. Members of the class of spring 2020, upon recommendation of the faculty and upon approval of the Board of Trustees, and therefore, by virtue of the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees of Franklin University and Urbana Branch Campus, I hereby confer upon you the degree of Bachelor of Science, together with all the rights, privileges, honors, and responsibilities pertaining thereto, and in witness thereof, I award you the diploma of Urbana University, a branch campus of Franklin University. Our graduates from the College of Health and Public Administration, Kristen Abbott, summa cum laude, Braden Lee Beam, Justin Dennis, Miguel Vigaro and, and, and Moraldo, Sylvia Michelin Dedanis Hudson, Megan Kennison, cum laude, Brandon McRae, Michael Daniel Mollahan, Daniel Ernesto Damisco Quirez, Caleb Sampson, Jordan Alexander Bradley, Michael Holtz, Christopher J. Plank, summa cum laude. Kara J. Stallings, summa cum laude. Kayla Lachelle Swanson, magna cum laude. DeRay Hall. Christopher Richardson, Jr. Michael B. Ryan. Maurice Warren. Sherman Watson. Congratulations to our graduates. While we are holding this ceremony virtually, I encourage all graduates with caps and gowns to please move your tassel from the right side of your cap to the left side of your cap. Congratulations. Thank you to all of our students who submitted videos. Thank you to our commencement speaker and to the families who gifted Urbana with such amazing students. Blue Knights, once a Blue Knight, always a Blue Knight. We certainly expect you to go on forward, to use what you've learned, and to add value to your families and to your communities. Lead, serve, and make us proud. On behalf of the university, we thank you all for attending the 129th commencement exercise. And now I offer you this final graduation benediction prayer. On this day, as we say goodbye to a precious and honored past and move toward a hopeful yet unknown future, may God's blessing rest upon each of you. May his love and wisdom light up your life. May hope spring from your hearts as you look towards tomorrow. May your days be filled with great adventures and discoveries. May you live, love, and give of your best and be blessings to our world. And may God bless our beloved Urbana University and all that it has been and meant to so many. Amen.
Thank you.